Alright, it's time to stick together with the tape of love. Got cello tape here. Starting off on the G chord. <clears throat> and uh, you can play the song a couple ways. You can just strum the chords, or you can kind of pick them out. Um, that's kind of what I do. It kind of mimics the piano effect. So you can play a G chord. Third finger is going to be on the sixth string, third fret. Pinky is on the first string of the third fret. And second finger is on the fifth string of the second fret. Some people play the chord like this. That's cool too. Um, so we're starting off G. And I just kind of pick these strings and rotate hitting my low note on the sixth string. And then the next chord is going to be G backslash F sharp. And uh, you can look at the chord chart for these too. I'll have them up there for reference. So next chord, all you do is take your third finger and put it on the second fret of the sixth string. So that's a G. G backslash F sharp. That means we're just changing the bass note from a G to an F sharp. That's what the backslash means. E minor. And then you're gonna do an E minor seventh. All you have to do is lift up your third finger. So let's back it up a little bit. We got G. And we have an A minor. An A minor chord, your first finger goes on the second string, um, first fret. Second finger goes on the fourth string, second fret. Third finger's right behind it on the third string, second fret. And I mute the sixth string with my thumb. that two times and then you're gonna do I don't know what this chord's called I'm calling it an A minor question mark but you're just dropping this note down to here so to, in order to play it, you have to press down two strings with one finger and then you're um, so that's on the second string and third string with your first finger and then your second finger goes on the fourth string uh, second fret where it was before so you got a minor, and then you cover that with your first finger. A minor. A minor mystery chord. And then uh, this next chord is basically a D backslash F sharp. So we got a D chord with a bass note F sharp. Um, but the way they play it, um, they just are hitting the F sharp in this note here on the third string, second fret. And it's kind of just a light, it's called a crescendo, it builds up. It's louder, and then just slide that up. So I'll show you how to play that. We got on the sixth string, second fret, I'm using my second finger, and third finger on the third string, second fret. Hit it four times, getting louder each time. One, two, three, four. And then you can slide it up to the third fret on both strings. And then slide it back down. So you got one, two, three, four, slide, two. And then you're gonna hit the third and fourth string open. One, two, three, four, slide, two, slide. So that's the pretty much the verse, um, and the other part of the song after uh, after the breakdown goes uh, or the big drum fill just strums the chords a little bit harder. Then it goes to a D chord, and that is uh, two's on the first string. Second fret, your one's on the third string, second fret. And your third finger goes on the second string, third fret. Beat the sixth string. Back to A minor. And then you're going to do a D with the pinky, this time on the first string of the third fret. 
It's called a D suspended four, I think. That's the only one I couldn't fit on the chord chart, but I'll give you a nice close-up version. So it's just a D chord with the pinky coming down at that. And then you lift it up back to a D. So. So I'll do a version where I play along with the main parts, and, uh, and you can jam along too. Here we go. Lives are like retractable pencils. If you push them too hard, they're gonna break. And people are like paper dolls. Paper dolls and people. Very similar shape. Love is like a roll of tape. It's real good for making two things one. But just like the roll of tape, love sometimes breaks off. Hopefully uh, this song changed your life like it did for me. Have fun playing.